There's also over here, there's the other natural man. This is a man, he's not even natural, he doesn't even like women. Um, women, yeah, he likes other men. So he's like on the, that's it, that's an abomination, you know, we must over there. So yeah, there, there is a battle going on. And I thought, six and seven are 13, now, I mean, we did the sixes and sevens before, the man of sin, six and seven are 13. And six times seven, we were, we, we remember, that was the, what was six by seven? <coughs> 42. So what did it refer to? Was it the 42 it's months? Eight. You remember that? 42 months? 42 months. 42, 42 months. months. Yeah, the yeah. Rule of that. So I think if you were to times the 30, the sin, by the Antichrist, you would get 546, right? And it came up in a couple of things, and I thought, this is the abomination of desolation in the end of the temple. So if you remember that 546, it'll come out. Uh, John, Genesis 6, 3, please. Celestial bodies and terrestrial bodies. But the glory of the celestial is one, and the glory of the terrestrial is another. There is one glory of the sun, another glory of the moon, and another glory of the stars. For one star differs from another star in glory. So also is the resurrection of the dead. The body is sown in corruption. It is raised in incorruption. It is sown in dishonour. It is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness. It is raised in power. It is sown a natural body. It is raised a spiritual body. There is a natural body and there is a spiritual body. And so it is written. The first man, Adam, became a living being. The last Adam became a life-giving spirit. However, the spiritual is not first, but the natural, and afterward, the spiritual. The first man was of the earth, made of dust. The second man is the Lord from heaven. As was the man of dust, so also are those who are made of dust. And as is the heavenly man, so also are those who are heavenly. And as we have borne the image of the man of dust, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly man. Okay. So the firstborn is flesh, 
second born spirit. It's like Jesus when he talks to the uh, rabbi, he says, you call yourself a teacher in Israel and you don't even have to be born again. Mm. So then, by the way, starts in Greek is what? Flesh. Flesh. What is it in Hebrew? When Jesus came into the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Who do men say that I am, the Son of Man am? So they said, Some say John the Baptist, some Elijah, and others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say I am? <coughs> Simon Peter answered and said, You are the Christ the Son of the living God. Jesus answered and said to him, Blessed are you, Simon Bar-Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. And also I say to, the, say to you that you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it, and I will give you the keys of, the, keys of heaven, and whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loose in heaven. Yeah, so he's saying Simon Bar Jonah, he makes a point of doing it. They don't say Matthew Bar, this Peter Bar, this, but he says Simon Bar Jonah. Simon, son of Jonah, a son of flesh, my Lord of spiritual is revealed. So the, the flesh Jonah didn't reveal it to you, your dad. The Father in heaven revealed it to you. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So flesh and blood didn't reveal this to you. Spirit uh, revealed that Jesus was not just a prophet, he was the Son of God. Mm. Okay? Now, the spiritual man will also be able to identify the Antichrist, okay? Because the fleshly man won, because he's one of them, basically, he's not as extreme, but he's still a man of flesh and blood. Mm. So I believe. The man of lawlessness in 2 Thessalonians has to be revealed by the church because I don't think the world will be able to identify him because I think you have to be born of spirit to recognize him. Are you with me? Mm -hmm. but now that's my opinion, that's all it is. But if you look at the same thing that Christ was revealed to him by the Father, I don't think a non-born again person will be revealed the Antichrist. I mean, I get who he is eventually when he starts doing his things, but I mean, mm -hmm. in the early stage. So my feeling is, although he may be alive now, when he comes onto the stage, I think the Christians, the born-again believers, have to recognize him first. That's an opinion. Now, John 4, 19, please, Derek. Three. Twenty-four to twenty-six, after Pat. Twenty to twenty-three, okay. Our fathers worshipped in the mountain, 
And you say that in Jerusalem is the place where men ought to worship. Jesus said unto her, Woman, believe me, the hour cometh when you shall neither in this mountain nor in Jerusalem worship the Father. You worship who know not what. You know what we worship, the salvation of the Jews. So he tells her, We know what we worship, we love the Spirit, and you didn't know what you worship in. It doesn't matter where you're doing it, really. Um, although it is in Jerusalem. God is spirit, and those who worship him must worship. Must worship his spirit and truth. And the woman said to him, I know that Messiah is coming, he who is called Christ. When that one comes, he will declare these things to us. Uh, he says, it is only right, do you know what I mean? So, that's the black line, which is the difference between flesh and blood and spirit. Now, die, please, Revelation 13, 5. Mm. Think of who, who was a mighty hunter in history. 
Nimrod. 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 So you've got the Nimrod characteristic, which is known, Mem, Gresh, Dalek. Okay, Nun is? Nun is 15. Men is? Men is 40. Resh is? Resh is 200. And Daleth? Daleth is 4. 4. Which is 294. 200. That's correct, 294. So that brings out the 42 now, the Antichrist by 7, okay? We've got 7 40s of 280. 17 to 14, 280 and 14 is 294. Okay, okay. Yeah. So you've got, so he's like Sodom, he's like Nimrod, and what, 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 what is what, what that? 13. 13, that was 8 by 13. 8, 8 by 13. The 104, 18, 3, 8 is 24. Okay. 24. Yeah. yeah. So what we've got, we've got Nimrod and Sodom. Yeah. And the third one, this was the lovely one from yesterday, is John 1145. 11.45. And he shall plant the tabernacles of his palace between the cities <laughs> in the glorious holy mountain. Yet he shall come to his end, and none shall help him. So he's going to come into the glorious land of Israel. Is anyone that's slightly different to that? Yeah, well, I got here, and he shall plant the tents of his palace between the seas and the glorious holy mountain. Yes, yeah, so he's going to come in from the side, plant his tent there, yeah. and go to Jerusalem to Mount Zion. Yeah. That's, that's where that's his direction of travel. But what does he plant? He plants a tent. Yeah. Think of some. Who are the famous people in the world that live in tents? The Bedouins. Bedouin. Thank you there, brother. Thank you. Never mind. Never mind. You just work quick enough. Never mind. Maybe next week. <laughs> the Bedouin. Who do they come from? Who, who gave rise to the Bedouin? Semot. Sorry? Semot. A particular person? Right. You need to read it. Go to Genesis, please. Tony? Yep. By the way, I don't need to read. Do I need to read him? Nimrod and Sodom, or are you quite aware of that? No, no, no. You are, they are what they are, you know that. Genesis what, Mark? Um, Genesis 4. This is a good one to read, actually, all the way through. Genesis 4, yeah. Genesis 4. Start of eight. Oh. So we remember the story, don't we? Cain's killed Abel. Mm. Yeah. But he's worried now he's going to be killed, isn't he? Mm. Uh, I'll start with 10. Start with 10. I'll, I'll shake stop. And he said, What have you done? The voice of your brother's blood cries out to me from the ground. So now you are cursed from the earth, which has opened its mouth to receive your brother's blood from your hand. When you till the ground, it shall no longer yield its strength to you. A fugitive and a vagabond you shall be on the earth. And Cain said to the Lord, My punishment is greater than I can bear. Surely you have driven me out this day from the face of the ground. I shall be hidden from your face. I shall be a fugitive and a vagabond on the earth. And it will happen that anyone who finds me will kill me. And the Lord said to him, Therefore, whoever kills Cain, Vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. And the Lord set a mark on Cain, lest anyone finding him should kill him. Then Cain went out from the presence of the Lord and dwelt in the land of Nod on the east of Eden. And Cain knew his wife. 
and she conceived and bore, e bore Enoch. And he built a city and called the name of the city after the name of his son, Enoch. To Enoch was born Arad, and Arad begot Mehujal. Mehujal begot. This is easy for me. <laughs> what was that, John? Methazel. <laughs> oh, that's. Methazel. Methazel. And Methazel begot Lamech. Then Lamech. Well, just slow down there. Okay. So remember, this is the bad line, isn't it? Abel's been killed. Yeah. Oh, Cain, which in Hebrew is that, Cain. Enoch, Arab, Methuselah, Methusel. Okay. Yeah. And then he gave birth to Lamech, yeah. Which is one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. So this has come from right from the Garden of Eden, been cast down to Nod, and this is the wicked line, if you like, through Cain. Right. It's going to come to an end of the flood, because yeah. only, only Noah's line carries on. So Lamech. And who came after Lamech, to me? Lamech um, was Ada, and the name of the second was Zillah. So this is the first time in biblical. History where we heard of someone taking a second wife, yeah, not Ada, and now he takes Zillah. But before that, he, he begat him, he begat him. The, the Adam and Seth line have one wife. This man has taken how many? Two wives. Two wives, two, yeah. Mm -hmm. And what does he say after his, unto his two wives, Ada and Zillah, in 23? Oh, sorry, no. Uh, 19. You don't know. This is the names. And in 20 it says, and Ada bore Jabel. Okay. Yeah. Uh, he was the father of those who dwell in tents and have most of So who dwells in tents? So is Jabel. Jabel. So he was the first son of the bad line. And he dwelt in tents. Mm. Okay. So what's, what's Jebel, which is J-O-Jebel? Well, it says here, he was the father of all those who played the harp and flute. Okay. What is it numerically? Yours? Oh, sorry. Which one? Uh, Job, there we go. Uh, ten. Job, Job. Ten. He's trying to do my job as well here. Ten. That. Two. I said, we just Two. And that there. John? John? <laughs> Come on, Tony. Percy. Percy. So, what's his number? 42. The first one that's well in 10? 42. 42. So, young man was 42. Now, he was the son of Lamech. And who? So this simple 
bloke that lives in Thames came from a marriage union in 1979, which is 169. 169. And what is sin by 13 by 13? Mm. 130 and 39. It's 169. So that line was coming to an end. Right? They had Ada and Malek, we had two wives. Ada and Malek come to 169. And then they had Jabal, which is 42. And it didn't last much longer after that because the blood came with Noah. So you've got your 42 and your 13 at the end of that line. Now we go to. Uh, Go to the book of Daniel again. This is Terry, man. Sheila, if you could. Then he shall confirm a covenant with many for one week. But in the middle of the week, he shall bring an end to sacrifice and offering. And on the wing of abominations shall be one who makes desolate, even until the consummation which is determined is poured out on the desolate. So the desolation of the abomination. So desolation is men, she, men, men. Meshanim, that's desolation. Meshanim, desolation is plural. So you've got an M. So it's M, S, M, M in Hebrew. Meshanim, desolations. So men is what, tell me? Men is 40. Sheen. Sheen is 300. And then men again. Men is 40. And men is 40. So the desolation line 420. is 420, which is the 42 by 10 to the power of 10. Ten or times 10, sorry. Okay. And then the abominations bit is Shakutsin. In Hebrew, the Meshemem Shikutsin, the abomination of desolation. And Shikutsin is Sheen. Yeah, 300. Kuf. Kuf is 100. 100. We don't, we don't, we haven't used that for a long time, Mark. It's a Q and a Q. Oh, right. Vav. Vav is 6. Six. Ain. Ain. Oh, sorry, no, Zali, Zali, Zali. Sorry, um... Who should you do Zin? Zin, Zali. Uh. Oh, Zen, you mean? Zali, with T-Z, like in Zion. I can't find it. Look around 70, 80, 90. Ain, you mean? No, it looked... Oh, Sorry. 90. 90. Oh, right. That's another one we don't no, often use. Well, it's TZ, it's not a very popular word. Oh, and a little right. yod. Oh, and yod is, um, yod is 10. 10. And John's not allowed to answer. 506. <laughs> 506. And what's the memo on the end? Oh, mem is, um, 40. Mem is 40. So that's 540. So that's 300. 490. Five, five, four, six. Five, four, six? Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. 13, five, four, six. So it's the 13 by the 42. You get your shoots and your abominations on the top one, which is your 30 by 46. Phenomenal. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. But flesh and blood, he, but he will be flesh and blood in the temple. He wants to be worshipped. Because you have to worship spirit, don't you? So, hey. It's not rocket science, is it? Not really. My goodness. Incredible. Mm -hmm. But the numbers are in it for. My goodness. Yeah, yeah, that phenomenal. is phenomenal. Phenomenal. That really is. Now you've just got to identify it. 